Well, hello, welcome to Tame Your Muse. Today I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting on the jelly plate using mostly found objects, things from my kitchen, things that came in packages from the mail, pretty much anything I find that looks like it will make an interesting mark on the plate, I stash it away and use it in my artwork. I do wanna make a quick disclaimer before we get started. Uh, I showed you a beautiful tarot card by Chris Ann in the video, and I made a mistake about the deck. The name of the deck is not Muses. It is Mardi Gras carnival season in New Orleans right now. Muses is a crew and a parade. It's not a tarot deck. Her tarot deck is called The Muse, and it's beautiful. I will link it down below in case you want to check it out. So let's get started. So you might be able to tell here that I'm working with some Fantastic complimentary colors inspired by this beautiful card from my Muses Tarot deck. It's the Eight of Inspiration. I'm feeling like a badass today, charging through life, and I just loved this color combination. If you're not familiar with this deck, I'll link it down below. It's Muses Tarot by Chrisanne, one of her many amazing decks. So what I've got today then is some cadmium red light. And to make this lovely minty green smoky sky, I've got Viridian green hue and a cobalt teal. All of these are golden acrylics, which are sort of heavy body, which is quite expensive and probably not the best thing for the jelly plate. But you know what? You use what you have. And then, of course, I need some black and some white. For white today, I have some cheap basics, Liquitex acrylic and this lovely pearl white shimmery metallic and then i have three different blacks this is a very cheap crafty black i have a carbon black from golden and i also have a liquid carbon black golden we're going to just try all of these things and see what we come up with all right so i want to start out today by making some backgrounds so i'm going to start here with some cadmium red light on the jelly plate. This paint is kind of funky. It doesn't roll very well, but it makes for some great texture. I'm going to put some pearlescent white on there and roll that around and see what we come up with. Now, there really is no right or wrong way to get your paint on the jelly plate matter of how smooth you want it to be. All right. I feel like I'm pulling more off than I'm putting on. Just starting out making some backgrounds today. Let's see how that turns out. So, in my studio, I always have problems with temperature and airflow, which either makes my paint dry too fast or not fast enough. Ooh, that came out nice. There's still some beautiful cobalt teal under there from when I tried to do this video before. So I have some extra backgrounds that will be a surprise when you see them. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for more of the cadmium red light in the middle. And let's do more pearlescent on the edges. So I like to start out by making some colored backgrounds because whenever I do prints that have just the white paper underneath, they don't quite do as well is when there's a beautiful color already underneath. So we're just doing that today to get started. I'll just have a piece of scrap paper as my roll off sheet over here. And we'll see how that does. So what I'm working with here is just a piece of picture framing glass that has some tape around it to keep the edges from not being too sharp. And I like to put whatever size paper I'm using underneath to help 
with registration on the plate. Yeah, it's a little bit pearly, a little bit cadmium. Let's switch it up to some Viridian green hue and do a little bit of cobalt teal. I like this color because it's a little bit transparent. And we'll get some cobalt teal in there. Let's see if we can replicate that beautiful minty green sky. Sometimes I show up in the studio with an idea. Sometimes I don't. When I don't have an idea, sometimes I like to find something in my environment to inspire me, which is where that card came from today. All right. So with gel printing, it's all an experiment. It's all trial and error. I also like this paper. As you can see through it a little bit, kind of see what's happening. Sometimes I like to leave the paper down a little bit longer so it will pick up more paint off the plate. Let's try that. Ooh, I see a lot of pearlescent coming up from the original with that cadmium. That's looking interesting. Got to be careful with complementary colors if you don't already know this because when they mix together, they make sort of an ugly brown. So if you're going to use them together, you want to make sure that one is dry so they don't blend. Let's try this one. That last one seemed a little bit blended together to me. So what you're seeing with it lifting up like that is because this is the heavy body paint and it's very thick. I suppose we could work on some mediums to thin it down, but you know what? I'm just going with it. Let's try this background and see how it looks. Sometimes I hate it when it makes blobs like that, and sometimes I like it. So we'll see how it turns out once we print something else over top. For right now, I'm going to let that sit for just a second before I put some pearl white on top of it, because if it dries, we might be able to get this paint to pull it up. It's always a mystery in my studio how fast paint will dry. We live in a very humid climate in New Orleans, Louisiana, but the temperature makes a huge difference because right now I'm running my heat, which is making things dry faster. But the cold may make them take longer. We just roll with it. Whatever happens in the studio is what happens. Let's see if we can pick that up. What you don't want to happen is for that paint, the second coat of paint to dry before you get the paper on this one so that it will hopefully pick up some of that paint left on there. We'll let it sit just a minute and see what it does. So I think I have enough backgrounds and it's time to figure out what sort of texture I want to put on there. 
peeling this off. Still have quite a bit left. That's the way it rolls here in the studio. All right. I think I really like the stripes in here and also some of the organic shapes of the clouds. So I think what I'd like to do is find one of my favorite tools, which is a brush that I've had forever. This is like a silicone tip that makes some beautiful lines. And then I'm pretty sure ever buy like face cream or some sort of weird cosmetic product that comes with this like does anybody really ever use this for that no they use it for the jelly plate so I'm gonna set some of these things aside I'm gonna start going for some mm, let's do some white first I'm gonna do regular white and I think let's throw just a tiny bit of this pearlescent white in there because really, why not? And let's get that rolling. Let me blend these together so that it's a little pearlescent, a little regular white. I can't just go straight across. I need to go in wavy lines because that makes me happy. All right, what else can we do here? Let's try this. Might just take a whole stripe away. I'm just wiping it on here. Actually, I don't like how that doesn't go to the edge. But let's try another one this way. you hear a strange grunting noise, that's my dog. She's grunting at the cats. We don't have cats, but my neighbor feeds the cats outside. And so there's cats. I think maybe I'll just do something like that. That's kind of fun. And of course we want to hurry up so that this doesn't dry. And some bubble wrap. This was a brilliant thing that had a whole oh, mitt. Haha, looks like a little mitt. Sound effects also make me happy, so you know. Ooh, I like how that reprinted over there. Now, I'm going to take one of these lovely papers that I did already. Here's a background. I'm going to do my best to line it up with the registration of the paper underneath. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Because perfection, if achievable, would bore me to tears. At least that's what my favorite astrology app tells me every time it's an Aries moon. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a minute to see if it will pick all that white. And we're going to peel it back now. There we go. 
So I'm looking at this and what I have to say is I do like more of the spots where more paint was taken off and less where there's so much white on there. But you know what? That's the look of the draw. So this, if I leave it there and let it dry, will give me a beautiful white on top of something. Oh, what will I do on top of there? Oh, there's Lola. She's barking at the cats. Pink. Maybe let's just go a straight up Viridian on here. There's also some bits that got stuck from my original print. We'll peel those off. All right giving it another minute to dry because I see that's not quite dry. The problem in my studio, in my whole house actually, I have very high ceilings. I live in a historic house that's over a hundred years old and the ceilings are really high and my heat is in the ceiling. And so it's very hot up by the ceiling and very cold down here where I am. So we're just going to go for it. Oh, let's throw some cobalt teal in there. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we do that? Hopefully that white is dry enough. And we can make this. All right. Here we go. piece of paper. So basically with jelly printing, if you let the paint dry on there and then you put another layer of paint on top that you don't let dry depending on the temperature and the airflow in your studio, which I can never control, it will pick up both layers. And there we go. That's actually way cooler than this original one. But you know what? We just saved this one we don't love. And you know what? That came out beautiful. So I'm fine with it. And that other one will print over top of it. And it will be great. All of this smudgy smudge can just stay right where it is. And let's do... Huh, 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 huh white. I guess we could do some more white. For some reason, white doesn't thrill me, but maybe if we just take more of it off. And if we do more of this pearlescent white, which is way shinier. Oops. That will work out. Let's just see. Too much paint on here. It's hard to tell sometimes how much to put on, and sometimes you can't control what comes out anyway. So, you know, we we'll just go with it here at Tame Your Muse because whatever happens, happens. All right, we don't want this to dry, but we do want to take a good bit off. So, let's go for this again. that and that and that and that all right and let's just do the bubbly wrap because that worked out pretty before and you know it was the ghost print that i liked the best so what we do a new piece of paper take the most of that off, which came out 
Interesting. All on its own. And now, excuse me, Lola. Let's get one of these beautiful backgrounds and put that on and see what happens. I do feel like my heat is making this dry much faster than it should. Let's just see what we get from here. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. Do we like it? I don't know. I love the colors. All right, I think I wanna switch to black. Let's do some black. And I think with black, what I would like to do, I should put these lights back on here. That would be nice. I think I want to do the fluid black. I don't know what I want to do. Fluid black. Let's just try. Let's try them all. Let's try them all. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we do that? Here's what we're going to do. Um, and actually, you know what I'd like to do? This is something new I think I haven't tried. What's this funky little brain? looking stencil. Um, let's do it. I'm going to put it on here. I'm actually going to put some paint over here in the corner. I'm not going to use my glass. I should put a little on the side. Am I wasting? Maybe I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's roll over the top of this thing. Because I have such beautiful backgrounds. And then I like the idea of just rolling that on there. Maybe we'll dribble a little over here. Done that to begin with. Do you know what I'm doing? Not really. Will it turn out? Maybe. And then before I pop that up, let's do just some of these fun scrubby things with this brush. And I'm going to put some bubble wrap on there. Pull this off. And let's just see what happens with that. All right, while this is still wet, and because I don't know what it will do, I'm just going to wipe it. I always have some handy baby wipes around to clean up my messes. I'll leave this sitting here for a minute because the longer it sits, the more chance it has to pull up that paint. And let's see what happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's very interesting. So there still was a lot of that pearlescent white on there. You can see that popping up. And the fluid black didn't do so great, but is it interesting? Sure it is. Let's now try, let's just do straight up black on here and see what we can come up with. Let's find a texture that we like. Right. Just making some marks on here. There's a lot of paint that is 
dried up on there. Oops. All right, what else will I do? Uh, let's go back to this guy and let's just see if we can draw some things. One of the things I loved about that card was it was beautiful clouds. I feel like my paint is drying. This is the big, big problem of my studio. That paint is drying. It's going to be too much black if I don't take some off. So let's go for about this big bubble wrap. We'll just drop that right now and see how much we can take off. All right. That might do it. There we go. Probably need to turn the heat off. That didn't line up very well at all, but I was going too fast. See, this is the thing about all those perfect videos on YouTube. They don't show you all the struggles. They just show you the beautiful things. And then you go to do it and you have all these struggles. You don't even know. But it's not your fault because struggles happen to everyone. I need this on longer because I do feel like that paint dried a little too much. Let's see what we can get off of here. Ooh, actually, that Paint. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It would have been better if it registered better, but you know what? I'm only going to use the middle part in my collage anyway. What else do I have over here? Alright, I'm liking black. Black is making me happy, but just for funsies, let's try some of this chibi craft paint that's not golden. That probably costs half as much. And it's actually a little bit thicker. Make some marks. I did like this bubble wrap, actually. This is a big fat bubble wrap. I always save all of my packaging from things that come in. Um, that might be beautiful just by itself, but perhaps. Um, let's go for some more. Looks good. Oh, it's beautiful teal background. Let's see if we can register it better. Let's see if we can. No. And we'll see if there's a difference between the cheapy craft paint and my fancy fluid golden acrylic. not sticking very well. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. All right. Bubble wrap. It's free. Let's do something else on here. Since that has kind of a beautiful thing going on, let's find another color to pull it up with. Let's 
go for some beautiful pearl marmalade because I feel like that is going to look beautiful with our cadmium and our cadmium red light and the cobalt teal. What's happening right now is I'm waiting for that to dry. So it looks a little wet right there, and if it's wet, that paint will blend with this paint, which we do not want to happen. So what we should do is wait another minute while the heat is blasting down. My head is warm, but my feet are cold. I wonder if you have strange problems in your studio. Temperature, airflow, all these things. This paint feels very, very cold. You know what, I'm being impatient. That's still not dry, and that's still not dry, and that's not, but the rest of mostly it is. So let's just go for it. A little bit of this lovely pearl marmalade. Okay, well, let's just put in some more black on top of there. Here we go. I want that on a new piece of paper because it is its own background. Here we go. New piece of paper. Let's see if we can get a lot of this paint off the plate on that one. So I never know how hard to press or how light to press, but right now I really want that paint off of there. Seems like there's a lot building up, and I'm going to leave this paper there to sit for a minute. And I'll contemplate what I might put as a background on here. I wonder... You know, I think some of my wacky marks and some bubble wrap might be nice. Let's pull this off and see what we've got. Oh, better. See, when you let it sit there, it pulls a lot of that paint off. And look at that beautiful metallic marmalade underneath there. We might need to use more of that. Love it. All right, here we go. We're going for black. I think I like this cheesy, cheapy black craft paint the best so far of the blacks. Oops, that's too much already. That's the thing with all of these paints is they're sometimes easy to control and sometimes hard to control. But you know what I'm noticing? That metallic marmalade is still on my prayer and it's rolled right in there. Alright, so what did we decide? We decided funky marks. And bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Ooh, I do like that. Where is my beautiful cadmium background? Cadmium red background. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Now, this one. I'm going to lay it down for a minute or so, so it will pick up that background. I think I pressed too hard. Always trying to get all that paint off of there. I do have these weird bubbly ridges from having printed before, but you know what? Do I care? No. Let's find out. Ready? And here we go. Wowzers. 
see. That's beautiful. That will look beautiful. With the other one I did, that was more black. more TB. This is just a Hobby Lobby. I need his all-purpose craft paint. Oh, don't want that. Sometimes I worry about all of this paint left behind, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just nice to have it there because it gives you even more texture. Oh, there, the heat just went off. Oh, that's very nice. Well, let's see if that changes what's happening here. All right. And there we are. Oops, I'm putting that in paint. You know, sometimes you need to do one of those. So I think let's do more straight sort of lines, more stripes like our inspiration girl had. Maybe we should use more a little bubbles. A little bubbles. All right. I like that. We're going to put that on top of top of this weird white pearl. Yes, and then let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm smoothing it down. Pressing probably harder than I need to. And just making sure I have the whole thing. And I'm going to let it sit there for a minute until it a little and you know what I'm going to put a big old arm in there did not like this one at all I think I'm going to switch out that for this paper so I have a new roll off sheet and we'll get rid of that we get rid of that away from my dog because she will try to eat it. Pretty sure acrylic paint is not good for dogs to eat. Let's see what's happening under here. Ooh, actually I like that. It's pearlescent underneath the black. All right. We've got two more to do over here. One is a teal and one is more of a cadmium red. Let's do the same craft paint. And let's maybe use some more of this brain because I only did that on that one. the cats and so we end up with cats. Cats on the porch. Cats in the yard. That's Lola. Marmalade, and we're going to put that on top of this cool thing right here and just see what happens. 
And I have a feeling that was a thin layer that did not. And over here, let's see what we've got. All right, do I like it? I don't know. It's kind of funky. I don't know. Did it hold true to my color scheme? Yes, it sure did. All right, I'm going to clean my plate here. You know what, this is something people don't tell you either. I always have baby wipes and sometimes that works, but I also have just a little spray bottle of water. And I like to spritz it down before I use that baby wipe because that helps get it all off of there. Sometimes you can actually throw another scrap piece of paper on and pick all that up. But we're just going for it with the baby wipes today. All right, one of my pet peeves is all the crusty bits on the edge. So let's see if I can get those up. And you don't really want to watch me clean my plate, do you? So I'm going to pause this and I'll come back. Also putting this. All right, now that I'm all cleaned up, let's see if we can take a look back through what we've got here. All right. This is one I did at the end, sort of like that. Here's the one with the metallic, with those big bubbles. This cadmium looks almost neon. That one's pretty good. Here's the one I started with the brain. It has some iridescence to it, that one's okay. This last one I did, meh, but we can always Print over that. I also ended up with this white one, don't love, and print over that. Here's this one. This one's actually looking really kind of cool with that pearlescent. Oh, what else did we end up with? Here's another cadmium red with some black. Here's a teal and viridian. Same pattern. I sort of like that. And Here's some from the beginning with the white. Huh, interesting. And I ended up with a few backgrounds that I can still print over top of. And this one that I hate. <laughs> but you know what? Someone else might love it. Let's see if I can find my favorite one in this pile for today. I think it might be. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe one of these. I feel like there was another blue bubble wrap one. Got it? Yes. I think the ones with the big bubble wrap were my favorite. But I do also love this one. It has a lot of scroungy stuff that was left on the plate that just ended up there. What will I do with these things? There's no telling. Probably going to rip them up and collage them into something. Stay tuned and join me back right here for Tame Your Muse, where you too can make things that you might love or you might hate. But you know what? We had a good time, didn't we? All right. Well, well, thank you. If you're still here, still watching this video, I really owe you a huge debt of gratitude. Um, you should know that uh, this video really has nothing at all to do with jelly printing. This is my very first YouTube video that I'm posting. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm really proud of myself for figuring it out, for learning some editing software to be able to get the video in some sort of form that I could actually upload it. So I hope that maybe you found something interesting in this video. Um, right now it is January 2024, and so if it's well beyond January 2024, I encourage you to please uh, watch some of my more recent videos because I'm sure they're much, much better. 
Um, just quick, I wanted to say um, with these prints that I made, um, I typically just tear them up and make collages out of them. So I want to show you one that's right back here on my easel. Um, basically, I don't love this thing. I really don't. I have some that I love that I've sold. Uh, but I basically, this is a photo image transfer and just some other things with stencils and random objects. Um, I did end up painting over this one and drawing over it as well. And you know what? It's not the most fantastic thing in the world, but I had fun making it. Maybe somebody will buy it. Maybe they won't. Maybe it will just hang on my wall forever. Um, thank you so much again for being here. Please, please look for the next video because I know it's going to be much better. Thanks for watching. Uh, go on out there and tame your own muse. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about what you're working on or any feedback. Uh, kind feedback. Thank you.